so I have control for this thing. I know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some more stuff. play with this a little bit today I think. Um, I didn't want to just take it out of the box and do my own thing. I wanted to actually let you see me unbox it and get it set up and we'll go from there. And before you go crazy these actually new scissors have, aren't as good as they used to be. They She's using that to cut off in the box. No, I'm doing it because it was closest and they're not that great anymore. I'm going to take my memory. There we go. Also, with editing, I only have time for so much. book. I like it, Jazz. I'm definitely going to need that. What's this? Oh, I guess that's... We'll hold on to the box right now. Probably going to get this thing its own little carry case. This is probably the plug. I'll have to do an up close two on this. I just wanted to thingy. Okay. The yeah, instructions going to be good. I'm generally not, there it is. Generally not the sewing person. That piece goes down here. That's pretty cool. It just drops in. You get one to go with it. Um, cover that up. I'll bring the camera over in a minute and I'll show some other stuff that I'm looking at. I do like the little drawer, little back button. Oh, it's so cute! It's a little pedal. Literally, you can see. You know. Or if you're not sure about my size, of my hands, you know how big these are. So I mean, and then the cable, the power cord. There we go. Smooth. Hmm. I'm be. So that's cool. Oh, that a piece of paper. some fabric over here. I have my phone because I'm waiting on a phone call. So just in case if I have to stop it. So we've got our bobbin winding tension disc, upper thread guide, thread take up lever, thread tension dial, needle plate, hook cover plate, reverse switch lever, switch, stitch selector, accessory drawer, needle clamp screw, needle bar thread guide, needle presser foot, set screw, bobbin winder, excuse me, I can't talk today. Bobbin winder spindle, bobbin winder stopper, hand wheel, foot switch jack, AC adapter jack, presser foot lifter, and a spool pin. Alrighty, to continue, 
mean, loosen this up a little. There we go. To continue, well, Phoebe has decided to join me too, by the way. Eating her popcorn. So to continue what I did a little bit ago, the instruction book, I figured I'd go through each section one video at a time. Um, just to show you. What, baby? This one is safe. Um, okay. Um, typical safety stuff. Common sense stuff, you yeah. know. Don't take a bath with it. Yada yada yada. It's not a toy. And of course, you know, English is on this side. Uh looks like Spanish and French? Italian? I don't know. Um you got your table of contents. Of course it's got your one language. This is actually not the entire thing. This is it right right in just a little area here, because here's the next language. And here's the third language. So this video, we're going to be going over, if I can get it, I'll zoom it in. Um, 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 ray, mama. Do you want some ginger ale? Mm -hmm. And a second, baby. Okay. So the first part is the names of the parts. I'm going to pause this a brief second because I have to give my daughter some ginger ale and I will come back. Okay. Brief pause for you. Two, three minutes for me. So, we're going to go over section one, which is the names of, of parts. Um, it shows two pages, but again, it's going to have the English on one side and it has all the foreign languages on the other side. Um, so, it's really, they're not really even this long. So, the names of parts. I figured this might be even helpful for someone who is new to sewing and they want to just go through the book with me. Alright, so we got all these parts. I'm going to show you the, the pictures. I'll even pick this up for a second. And we are going to... Find my zoom. Uh -huh. Zoom in. There's all that, those parts there. That goes with that one. I kind of marked it off so it knew what would stop. There's the second picture, the second group of 10 through 14. And then the last one, 15 through 21. So we've got, oops, I keep going the wrong way. So, <laughs> so. Instead of showing in the picture, I'm going to show. There's Phoebe. I'm going to show on the. Watch out, baby. On the sewing machine. Like I said, this thing is just awesome how light it is. What are you doing, baby? Yeah, no, oh, you got stamps on your hands, uh huh? Alright. So. Name of parts. Number one, bobbin winding tension disc. So that's going to be this disc right up here at the top. This little disc up here. You've got your upper thread guide, which is the other piece that's, that's part of this. I will show you. See, you have like your thread guide. You literally have to come up through here and come around, kind of thing. So that's your bobbin winding tension uh, disc and your upper thread guide. And then number three, is going to be your thread take up lever, which is this little thing that likes to play hide and seek in your machine when you're actually sewing. It goes up and down literally when the machine is moving. The, I don't know what she's doing. Uh, number four is the thread tension dial. So, this is what um, changes the tension of your thread. You can either, I believe, you make it looser by going down to one. Um, I'll double check once we get to that point. And then you can make it tighter by going up to nine, but you literally just, like, it's kind of hard to, to move it, but you can't go past nine. It literally will stop right there. Or you can roll it all the way, use your whole thumb, roll it all the way back to zero. So, and it will take some time to adjust to what kind of tension because it depends on the thickness of your material, how many layers of material, 
You know, it could be just one layer and it's like really thick, or it could be like, you know, two layers, but it's not as thick as say that one layer. Um, it just kind of depends. All right, so that's your tension, thread tension dial. So then you've got your needle plate, which is this handy dandy little metal piece underneath your needle. I don't know what Bradley's watching, but he's watching videos. I know he's watching videos, but I don't know what he is watching exactly, sweetheart. But this little metal piece underneath your, in fact, let me lift. Oh, I was already lifted. Um, underneath your pressure foot. You just build a prop board. And then number six is your hook cover plate, which is this thing right here, this little clear plastic piece. Um, so it slides right on there. Then you've got your reverse stitch lever, this one right here. Allows you to go backwards. You just hit it and it'll stitch it backwards and you go forward back again. You've got number eight is your stitch selector. As you can see, we've got ten different stitches. I don't need anything fancy. This is really all I need, honestly. And then the last one on this is your accessory drawer. It's kind of handy. Very small. Sometimes a little hard to open. But it does have... I went ahead and put my stuff in there. So, just my minor little things. 